My name is Abigail, Abigail Robinson, and this is my story. So I'm from a small town in Minnesota where I live with my beloved father and my amazing brother. My brother, <laughs> he's such a breath of fresh air. You know, he always makes me feel really special. He would take me with him everywhere he goes. In our home, our father teaches us so much about the importance of loving God, but not just loving God, but manifesting the love of God towards each other. He tells us all the times that as siblings, we are supposed to be one another's keeper. Hmm, my brother has been really, really incredible looking after me all these years and just making me an amazing part of his life is just such a huge blessing to me. But is it always going to be like this? Will the twist of life actually prove this love true or false? Or is that just how it's meant to be sometimes? Well, we'll find out. Hmm, this life. Ah, brother. You know, yesterday I was scrolling through Facebook and I saw some gruesome images of another young boy who has been killed and his body organs removed, you know? Oh, yeah? Oh, ah, yeah. Can you imagine? I feel like social media is perpetrating more evil as the days go by. Exactly. Ah, it's so sad, you know? A lot of false information on the internet, people influencing others with evil lifestyle. It's so terrible. Do you think the internet was even necessary? Oh, uh, I think it was necessary. But the idea behind it in this our present generation mm -hmm. and age, people search any appropriate stuff. Like, the internet was there for research purposes, but right now, too much freedom, and I don't know what I can say, but everybody is there putting on stuff on the internet. Yeah. People searching stuff they're not supposed to search, you know. So it corrupts the mind of young people uh, a lot. I just imagine in the next, like, 20, 50 years, how the world is going to look like. Because internet has just made people are not even enjoying the company of one another any longer. Everybody wants to become famous, you know, become a big girl, a big boy on the internet. People prefer looking at their phone for hours than holding conversation with the people around them. It's really despicable. Exactly. Even in church today, you know, the pastor is teaching and everybody on the phone. Can you imagine? You go out with your friends having a conversation, everybody with the phone. Ah. You know, that's the sad part about technology. And I think it's corrupting our minds real quick. Absolutely. Anyways, but I still believe that somehow the internet has been a blessing. Look at people are able to travel abroad, easier communication with their families back home or just the fact that you can be able to start up an online business and I feel like the internet is not a complete colossal waste, you know? Yeah, the internet actually is to ease life, you know what I'm mm. saying? Make everything easy, like what you just mentioned about yeah. business online, yeah. all of that, right? But there are other websites that I think that should not be legal for kids mm -hmm. to be able to open, you know? <laughs> right. It's crazy, man. I mean, it's crazy when about the internet is very, very complex yeah. with the society of today. I can't really talk much about it because people have diverse understanding about it and people are talking about freedom, they are free to do whatever they like, but kids are not like, you know, mm -hmm. it destroys their brain from a tender age. Mm. And when they get old, they're all corrupted. Yeah. It's crazy. Well. You know, we cannot really put all the blame on internet itself, but I mean, on how people choose to use the internet, you know? Yeah. But, I mean, it's a blessing. It was created to ease our life and lifestyle. But unfortunately, many of us are using it against us. Right. <sighs> Please do fast, though. Let's go and see how Daddy is doing at home. I'm so scared. Maybe he makes me. All right, give me 20 more minutes. <sighs> all right. <laughs> I think it's time for us to go. Oh, all right, brother. <laughs> there you go. Thank you. Let's run and go and check on how daddy's doing. 
Thank you very much for coming with me. Uh, I have to go and cook something for Papa to eat. Okay. Alright. Okay. Oh, thank you. Alright. Okay. Abigail! Yes, Daddy? Where are you? Bring, I'm in the kitchen. Bring me a glass of water. Alright, Daddy. I'll be right there with you. All right, Daddy, here you go. Thank you. Perfect. Oh my God, how was your walk out there today? It was nice. Oh, that's really sweet. Nice. Oh, Daddy, you always look so good. <laughs> I'm sure it's because of the walk out you're doing. And do you know that your son, mm, Prosper, mm. he does the exact same thing all the time. Prosper takes me to the gym. I don't even know what I'm doing there. <laughs> like, seriously. <laughs> Well, you should always praise God because yes. God is good for you. Yes, uh, I love Jesus. You should love God. Mm -hmm. And uh, I know that God will be there for you. Uh, no, no matter what's going on in your life, uh, God will always be there for you. The Holy Spirit will be there for you. Yes. God will be there for you. Yes. I'm telling you, you got to praise God mm -hmm. and God will bless you. Thank you so much, Daddy. Mm, this is why I really love you because you're always, always telling us about God. But Daddy, to be honest with you, I don't know why, sometimes it gets really discouraging like when I'm praying about a certain prayer request to God over and over and it feels like God is not hearing my prayer. Look at my brother. I want God to give my brother a better paying job so that we can take good care of you. And also like, I've been praying God for a very long time now to send me like a good God-fearing man that I can get married and settle down and give you grandkids. Why is God not answering my prayers? God, you have to wait on God mm -hmm. to get anything you want from God. Mm -hmm. All you have to do is continue to pray mm -hmm. and God will answer your prayers. Mm -hmm. But you must always wait on God. God's mm -hmm. not in a hurry about doing anything for you. Oh, Daddy, you're right. I like that. That's so sweet. I'll just keep waiting on God. I just keep praying. Just keep reading my Bible. And going to church like you've always taught my brother Prosper and I to do. I believe that someday God is going to bless Prosper with a very good job and also bless me with a very great husband. Is that true, Daddy? That is true. God <laughs> All bless right. You. Amen. Thank you so much, Daddy. You know what? Let me get into that kitchen real quick oh. and prepare something so delicious for oh, you. Okay. All right. Thank you. Oh, I love you, Daddy. I Come love here. <laughs> All right. <laughs> Prosper, where are you? Father in heaven, I pray that you protect my children and everything they try to do. In Jesus Christ's name, I pray to you, Father in heaven, to protect my children. Amen, Father. Amen. So, I grew up with my dad and my brother. Best dad in the world. <laughs> Best brother ever. Yeah, I was really loved. Mm, I know that I am loved. And my favorite part about being my dad's daughter is that he was such a godly man. He taught me on the necessity of staying close to God, of fellowshipping with God, my relationship with my heavenly father. He taught me to be a godly, virtuous woman, a woman of prayer, and he was just such a man of faith. <laughs> what about my brother? Ah, he always made me feel so special, like take me everywhere he goes, especially to the gym in his moments of highs and lows. How on earth would you not love such a father and brother? What else could I ever ask for? Ah, my mom? Hmm, yeah, my mom. Mm -hmm. So we lost her right after she gave birth to me. No wonder my dad decided to shower all the love that he had been showering on our mother, on me, but not just on me, but my brother too. <laughs> 
<laughs> yeah, bro, what's up? Yeah, man. Yeah, I've been telling you. Yes, exactly what I'm saying. I want, I want to make enough profit this time, and I don't want this guy to double cross us. You know, like he tried playing some games last time. I want to make enough profit this time. Okay? Yeah. Make sure those things are being delivered. Yeah, the same quantity, the same quantity. They make sure the amount is different this time. Try to talk with him better so he can make enough profit of it. Sure, man. Yeah, oh, the girl, oh, forget about the girl, man. If she's not interested, man, that's fine. Forget about the girl, you know. You know, when you make money, you can always have other girls. There are, man, there are more beautiful girls out there, man. I met one just yesterday, so I'm not even thinking about her, okay? Man, what I'm most interested in now is the making the money, man. I want to make that money. I want to make enough profit from these goods we're supposed to supply. So make sure you make sure you play your cards very well and make sure this guy doesn't double cross us again. Yeah. Yeah, I got you. I got you, bro. I got your back. <laughs> yeah, bro. Yeah, yeah. I got you. I got you, bro. Man, I'm just trying to. I'm trying to round up with some business transactions here, you know. But I'll let you know. I'll let you know exactly. Yeah, just hurry up and do it. I'll call you later. Okay. Catch you, bro. Take care. How's your job coming along, son? Uh, Dad is just there, you know. It's the. It's not really what I want to do because I'm not making that money I want to make. You know, I want to go high, make more money, take care of you, take care of Abigail. You know, put her in a better position. That's what I'm thinking right now. Well, you got to praise God and do God's work, and uh, God will bless you. Yeah, I, I'm praying, you know, I'm praying and I'm, and I'm doing all that, but still yet, I'm still in the same position and I don't want to be here because I'm not supposed to be at this particular position at this time. Like, I want to upgrade myself real quick and I'm trying so hard to make a change. Well, <clears throat> that's good, but as I said, you got to praise God and, you know, always look for God, for any help that you need through Jesus Christ. Uh, yeah, but what do you think? Like, should I, s because I want to, you know, start searching for other jobs and, you know, to see if I can make more money. So what do you think about it? I feel that uh, <clears throat> you can quit your job, but do you have the right financial means to continue your job? You know, I mean, if you have the right money, if you're making the right money, you can quit your job. But if you're not making the right money, you have to hold on to the job. So I was thinking, yeah, it's like, I'm not making enough money right here. That's why, you see, I have a little financial situation sometimes. But I don't want to quit right now because I haven't saved a lot of money. And what if I quit right now and then I'm searching for a job and it takes a while for me to get a job? Like, I don't know how I'm gonna survive, all of that. So, I'm like, that's what's just in my mind right now. I'm just trying to figure out how to go about it. <clears throat> well, as I said, you got to put God first in your mind. And continue to put God first because He'll come at you, you know, and He'll surprise you. You say, Lord, have mercy, look at this. And, you'll get a good job. Because you gotta keep, like I said, you gotta keep God first in whatever you're doing, always. Yeah, I think, I, yeah, I th that's, that's nice. I'm like, I'm doing just that. But at the, at the other end of it, I want to cause that change to happen. Because if I, I'm putting God first, but I think I need to make a change. Because if I just sit in the same company, putting God first without doing anything, I don't think anything's gonna change. Well, well, just go on and do what you think you got to do. You know, you're keeping God first, but you still can do what you have to do. 
just take your time and do what you have to do. All right. Uh, I'm going to try, but it's hard. You know, it's hard. I have a lot of ambitions. I have a lot of dreams. I have, you know, it's not like I'm in a hurry. I'm not in a hurry, but I'm in a hurry somehow. Because all my friends, all my mates, they're in a position where I know that's where I'm supposed to be, but I'm the only one that is still down while they are all up, you know? So it bothers me sometimes. Well, <clears throat> as I told you, and I'm saying it again, to always keep God first because they're up there, but they may come down. Right. You may go, you may go up. Daddy, brother, it's time to go to bed, right? Yeah. All right, Daddy. Oh, I can see you guys were really enjoying oh, without yeah. me. <laughs> mm. Oh. <laughs> All right. We're having um, a very serious conversation. We almost forgot drinking also. Oh. I know, father and son time, that's really good. Anyways, daddy, I see you are about to go to bed, right? Yeah. Um, yep, prosper, yep. there is something I really want to discuss with you about, all okay. right? Mm -hmm. All right, so daddy, are you ready to go to bed now? I'm ready to go to Let bed. me chit chat with I'm my brother. Go, okay. <laughs> all right, daddy. Oh, yeah. <laughs> oh, come, let's go and see daddy off to I'll bed. <laughs> daddy, we are taking you to bed. You know, we love you so much. Oh. <laughs> Yes, yes. <laughs> Abigail, prosper. I love you. You're my children, and I love you so much. Oh, Daddy, uh, we love you too, so, too. so much. <laughs> we love you so much, Daddy. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah, so who is praying for us today? Daddy? Prosper should pray for us. <laughs> oh, okay. Let's pray. Oh. All right, well, Father, we thank you for today. We thank you for the gift of life. We thank you for strength. Mm -hmm. We pray as we go to bed, may you um, guide and protect us. And uh, we pray that may you give us the strength to wake up tomorrow to be able to carry on with our daily activities. Come have your way in our lives. We ask all this request to our Lord. Amen. Amen, amen. and amen. Oh, amen. Daddy, we love you so much. Love you too. Good, love night, you too. Good, night. Good night, Daddy. Good night. Okay. <laughs> All right, Daddy. Okay. <laughs> Bye, folks. Good night. Good night. <clears throat> Is this? Oh, let me see, Daddy. I have to do your laundry tomorrow. You have a lot in this laundry basket. Okay. <laughs> I love you, Daddy. I know, I love you too. Oh, good night. Good night. Okay. Duh. I just need to get married so that you don't be taking me to the gym with you all the time. I want time. to get married. <laughs> yes, of course. Oh, I want to stand right there. Remember the last time you said you're gonna do some weights, right? Weightlifting. Yeah. Look at me. I wanna see you do like, it. Like, don't worry, another time. Come, come, oh. Shia, come and do what you have to do today. Okay. Come on. <laughs> oh, so I'll push up the machines today. This one. Right. All right. All right. So you know what I'll be doing, my usual. Hello. <laughs> Enjoy yourself. Thank you. <laughs> Michael, pick up your phone. Pick up your phone, Michael. Pick up your phone. You're messing up with me, Michael. Michael, pick up this phone. Oh my God. Oh my god, oh my god, it's Michael. Hey man, what's up? Man, I'm not okay, I'm not okay. What's I'm going on? Okay. I was supposed to meet with a business partner right here, Michael, but I, I've been calling his client, he's not, he doesn't want to pick up. Oh man. And I'm just so pissed off. I'm just that's so not good, that's not good. Now. Anyway man, by the way, I'm Prosper. Nice to meet you, Prosper. I'm Philip. Nice to meet you, Philip. How you doing? Man, life is just there, man. Things are hard, but we keep pushing, man. Mm -hmm. It's not easy. I know, I know. It's not easy. I know it's not easy, man. I know, but a young man like you, there's so many ways out there to make money, man. I'm trying, man. You're I'm trying. trying. You need to try harder, bro. You need to try harder. How how harder can I try, bro? I've done basically everything. Everything, man. 
So, bro, I, I mean, I mean, I'll see, I'll, I'll see what to do about it. Thanks, man. Just give me your contact. Okay, All right, man. I'll get, right, get to you. Okay. All right, man. So, just give me your contact. For bro, sure, for sure, people. for sure. Okay, for sure. <sighs> Man, man, if you could help me, I really appreciate it, man. I'm down, for real. I'm no, down. I can do bro. anything right now, man. I, got I need that money. I can do anything, man. I got your back. I got I'm your down, back, man. Call me anytime. Call me anytime. Thanks so much. I appreciate it. I appreciate it. You're welcome. So, who is that beautiful girl sitting there? Oh, man. That's my sister, man. I don't mess with her, man. Oh, she's pretty. For real, bro. She's pretty, bro. She's man, pretty. Oh. I don't want anybody messing around her, for real. I got you. I got you. Got her back. Yeah, I got her back. 100%. Yeah, That's me you. right there, bro. I'll give you a call, bro. Okay, man. I appreciate it, man. I appreciate it. I appreciate it, man. Ah, brother. Yeah. Uh-uh, it's time to go now. You've been doing this thing for long. <sighs> for real, man. So much stress. I don't want to walk out my stress. It's you know, fine. I just want to kill myself out there. Who was the person you were talking with? Oh, that guy. His name is uh, Phil. So he said he came here looking for Michael, but it's like he was angry because Michael is not here. Michael told him he would be here, but he's not here, so he's all angry and all like. But it's fine. You just I mean? have to be careful, please. Let's go. You good? Mm -hmm. Are you sure? Thank you. Son Jesus Christ, Amen. Amen. Ah, Amen. Prasper, oh, tell me this looks yummy, else you not eat it. Yes, yes. Yummy. <laughs> yummy. <laughs> oh, that's really sweet. I have the best daddy and brother in the world. What would I do without you guys? Hmm. Ah. So, daddy. What do you think about um, young men and women becoming pastors and leaders in the Church of God today? Do you think it's more appropriate for the older folks to be the leaders, you know, in the church community? Or you think young men and women should equally take up the task of becoming one? I believe that uh, young women and the young men should take up the uh, preacher's roles uh, because the old men are good, but <clears throat> I'm saying that the young people need to learn more about God. Please mm. preach God's word. Um, so that's what that's what I'm saying about that. Mm -hmm. But honestly, Prosper, I think that so many young preachers are committing a lot of atrocities in the in the church today. What do you think about that? Um, first of all, because the main aim why they are going um, into priesthood or pastorhood is money. Mm. You know. They are going for financial gain. Mm -hmm. They use God's name in order to make financial benefits, That's and which right. is not good. So, I think that it is a, it is a wrong narrative and it's a wrong step in which they are really taking. Mm -hmm. Because right now, anybody who wanna be a pastor mm -hmm. is going there because of money. Mm -hmm. hmm. I 
couldn't agree less. Hmm. And then there's also this situation where, you know, young people are finding it difficult to submit to older people, you know? True. Like, it's like there's always a dichotomy, a conflict. Younger pastors don't want to collaborate with older pastors. And it's, it's really bizarre, you know? I feel like humility is running far away from this generation than ever before. You know, most of these preachers, they have pride, but they don't know, like, they don't want to express it that they actually have pride. Mm -hmm. So they always use a quotation in the Bible in order to, you know, let the people know oh, what they have is not pride, but actually it's pride. <laughs> they, don't, they don't want to compete, and they feel like my grace is bigger than this pastor's grace. Hmm. And this pastor's grace is bigger than this pastor's grace. I know mm -hmm. the grace of God is for everyone. Mm -hmm. It doesn't matter if you are higher or in as much as we all have the grace of God in us. Amen. And then we are all God's, God's children and God's people. That's when you were growing up, was that how it was in your generation? Did you have all this pride and arrogance in church? Yes, we did. What? We had a lot of pride and arrogance in the church. Because the preacher parked here, you're not allowed to park there with the preacher parked. Hmm. Preacher spot. So the preacher spot, the special preacher's parking spot. Special I think that's called pastoral discrimination. <laughs> <laughs> well, um, before I forget, Prosper, what do you think about female preachers? Do you think it's ideal for women to be pastors and leaders in the house of God? Um. For that, I don't actually know, but I think I don't agree to that. A female preacher to be preached, like a female can do, like they are good with, God bless women with voices to do worship okay. and praise. Mm -hmm. but, I, but I think that uh, being a preacher is like being the head of a family hmm. and the head of a household is a man. Mm -hmm. So if a woman wants to be a head of a church, hmm. it means that is not her responsibility. Mm -hmm. She's supposed to be an assistant to the head of the house. You know, that's that's my opinion. So but I, that sounds misogynistic. I feel like so many women no. out there will come for you. Why? <laughs> why are speaking the truth sound misogynistic people? Because why now? What I'm saying is, like if Christ says that the pastor is the head of the church mm -hmm. and the husband is the head of the family. Hmm. So, in that perspective, don't you see that a woman is supposed to assist? Well, we can have reverend that are women that are supposed to help the pastor, assist the pastor mm -hmm. in his pastoral work, but I still think that women shouldn't be pastors, women shouldn't be head of the church because the responsibility of a head is not for a woman, it's for a man. Hmm. And a woman has her own part to play. Daddy, do you agree with your son? No, I don't. You don't? <laughs> I'm saying that. In the Bible, it speaks about women being like ministers. Oh, wow. In the Bible. Oh, really? Yeah, they were all virgins and they were leading the church. Okay, we talk about women like Deborah, women like Esther, leading God's people. But I also feel like Prosper is trying to say the situation where he said women could be like worship leaders, but he's bringing in the, the perspective where as men are submitted to Christ, that's how women should be submitted to the men, to their husbands. And I remember like there's a Bible passage that says that Women should ask their husband at home whatever they didn't understand in church. In as much as women can do things for God and stuff like that, they shouldn't want to outpower the men out of God's service. So, I just feel like most of these controversies come because we've pushed the Holy Spirit aside, you know, and we're trying to use human wisdom to, to... I mean, that's what you told us in the other morning devotion, Daddy. So, if we let the Holy Spirit come back, women won't have to argue with men about what to do or what not but, you to know. do. I've never seen, um, even in the days of Christ, I've never seen like a woman being an apostle or a woman following Jesus Christ through our mission here on earth. They were all men. Why did Christ choose men and didn't involve women in his, uh, how can I put it, in, his, in his ministry? Yeah. <clears throat> I mean, but there was Mary Magdalene, there was Mary the mother of Jesus. There, I mean, there were women who actually followed Christ. No, but. They never had the rule in which Christ um, gave his apostles, those who follow him, were different with the women. 
you know, I think on the day of Pentecost, I think um, mm -hmm. there were only men at the upper room. I think, I don't know. Really? Alright, anyway. But I mean, only the men were speaking in tongues because I didn't hear the Bible say that it, that was a lady who was speaking in tongues that was in their midst. Hmm. I don't know, maybe. We'll have to find out about this from the Holy Spirit. <laughs> no, I'm talking about the Bible. Like, the Bible is there for us to know. We can always go back to it and check it out. So. Alright, that's fine. I think I'm done. I have to prepare for a job interview. Very good. Mm hmm. Daddy, I want to get a good job. Okay. Mm -hmm. <coughs> so that prosper won't be taking me to the gym all the time. So. <laughs> I'm going to do exercises, you know, and be your biceps. <laughs> all right. <clears throat> Eventually, I have come to the belief that the people we meet in life are so important because they can either make us or mar us. They can either help us grow or destroy us. But that's not even the most sad or heartbreaking part of my story. My world came crumbling and completely crashed down when my dad, my beloved father, passed away. My support system, my guide, my friend, my counselor, my lover. Hey, what's up, man? Hey. Hey. 
How are you doing? I'm good. Oh my god. Please have a seat. Thank you. Oh shit. So what happened, bro? Man, I lost him. Oh. I lost my pop. That's so sad, man. That's so sad. For real. That's so sad. Was he sick or something? Oh. Yeah. He was sick. Oh, man. Right. Oh, my God. <sighs> That's messed up, bro. Let me use the restroom. Okay. Take it easy, okay? But take it easy. Everything's gonna be okay. Okay? Yeah, everything's gonna be fine. I mean, let him go and get some rest. Yeah. yeah just take it easy. What's what's next? I mean, like... I don't see, know. I see you can, you're really stressed. Or you're really yeah, yourself, I don't know. Oh, you're just gonna take it easy, okay? Take it yeah. upon yourself, okay? You know, I really love you so much. You're really pretty and... I'm gonna take care of you, okay? I'm gonna take care of you. What? What you mean? What you doing? I mean, I said I'm gonna take care of you. What does that even mean? I'm, I mean, like, I want you to be my girlfriend. I'm literally gonna take care of you. Get what I'm saying? I mean, I'm capable. I can take care of you. Like, Is that why you came to my house? I mean, like, I just came to show you. I didn't what? tell you that I needed someone to take care of me. I'm no. grieving my dad for crying out loud. I understand, but at the same time, you can't kill yourself. You have to move on with your life, you know? Really? You have to move on with your life, okay? I love you. I really want to get married to you. Did your brother not tell you about me? Oh, my God. Prosper! Take it easy. Take it easy, okay? Prosper! Oh, my God. Where is my brother? I'm going to the room. <laughs> Oh, man. Hey, bro. What happened, man? I mean, like, I was just trying to talk to your sister, you know. So I just why she let her know. I, I mean, I just want to, I just let her know that I'm going to take care of her, let her take it easy, I, I want to marry her, and stuff like that. So why did she leave? I don't know. I don't, I don't understand. Maybe you didn't tell her anything about me. <sighs> man, you know she's going through a lot by now. I understand. I understand. At the same time, she can't kill herself because she loves I mean, her let her, her give her some time. Give her some time to mom. I get it. She's I going through a lot. I man, I just hope I you get never it. told I get her it. what I'm thinking. Man, I just told her like I want to get my, I, 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 I want to be this, with her. I want okay, to see, be my girlfriend. And get this, this, to is her. Not a, this is not the right time to bring that conversation up. This is not the right time. We just lost our dad. We are all like we are going through a situation right now. We can be bringing marriage right now. So what next? I mean, like. Everything, everything. Are you guys Give gonna kill yourself too? No, no, no. It's not that we're gonna kill ourselves. Give us some time to mourn. Give us some time to mourn. So Give us some space. Next. And so on next. Tell me the business I'm in, man. Business? Yes, bro. I mean, real business. I mean, like, you're gonna make real money. What kind business. of business is that, man? I mean, you don't need to. I'll, I'll, we'll meet by 11 and I'll give you every detail about your business. But first thing you have to promise me about your sister. Will you let me get married to your sister? Bro, man, like, I cannot put my sister for money, you know? Man. Man, let me tell you, let me tell you, let me tell you, man. I'm from a Christian background, you understand? Sure, sure. Man, my dad, my late dad has been praying for us, you know, we've been believing God. Man, I know I'm going to get this money. I, 
not be my sister half a month ago. Then it's like me selling my sister, and that's the only person I got. Man, you have to give what belongs to Caesar to Caesar, and what belongs to God to God. Man, that's okay. my sister, man. man. I love her, man. I understand. I understand. I have a sister like you too. You understand? But you, I, I believe you don't want to die in poverty with your sister. I guess you don't want to do that, bro. Like what I'm telling you, it's we're talking about real money. I know you have to serve your God, but God has never put you. You, 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 you've not had anything for these several years that you've been doing. Your dad just died. And you don't even have money to take care of yourself, neither your sister. Right, so, man, man. Okay, you know what? Let me know today. If you're ready, just give me a call. Man, I need that money. I'm going to convince my sister, man. Okay. I promise you. I trust you. You should make this work for me. She's going to marry you. I trust you. Bro. She's yours, man. Just make it work for me. Okay? Man, like make it work for me, man. Make it work for me, man. Come on, man. Come on. Come on, man. Come on. See you, bro. Okay, you want? Okay, let me just rush and go meet up with this business partner. Okay, man. Yeah, bro. Right. See you. Okay. You are highly lifted up. There is no one like you. Yes, yes. How are you? I'm good, brother. Have you seen my watch? Your watch? Your watch? Um, have you checked it in daddy's room? It's not there. Mm, Alright, I check, check the dining table. You know you were last night oh, here. Oh, okay. The other day. Alright. Oh, I mean, like, you're all dressed up. Where are you headed? Oh, uh, that's my friend, Philip, I told you about. Your friend? At the one at the gym. That same Philip? Yeah, okay. uh, I want to go see him for the business proposal. Business proposal, like what kind of business proposal is that? What does I he mean, do? I'll tell you when I get back. Uh, have you even bothered to ask him what he does? Like what exactly does he do? It doesn't, it doesn't matter right now. What? Point. It does. Remember what dad has always said. That was that what he said. I need that money. But you also have to be watchful of your friendships. Do you know the source of that money? No, he's a good guy. Are you sure? Like, he's a good guy. I had he's... a very uncomfortable feeling about him. Why? I don't know why. Like, I mean... Is he a believer? Does he believe in God? Is he? Ah, uh, he just stop, just stop, just stop, just stop. I need that job. I'm going. I'm going. You are changing. I'm this going. Is not Please. You. Ah, stop talking. God. He can now shout at me. He doesn't even want to listen. Oh God. Please. I don't know where this is headed. But just help prosper. I beg you in the name of Jesus. Just help your son prosper, Lord. Please. <sighs> You are highly lifted up There is no one like you Halle, halle, halle,
this when the chief starts sitting on the other chair and I thought you sit here with me. You're disturbing. Disturbing? What do you mean by that? I'll you are disturbing! Is Bible study this time, remember? I don't remember. Prosper, like what's going on? Last time you left the house at 11 p.m. You no longer show up to the dining room. You know, like, like what's really going on? Make this call. <sighs> like, did I offend? <sighs> Lord, what's going on with my brother? Ah, <sighs> did I offend? Like, what's going? What's going on? Ah, <sighs> brother. You know, you know, you know, you know, listen, I think you should consider marrying someone. It's me, Abigail, or your favorite sister, remember? I know! We no longer even go to the gym together, what's going on? You know what, I think you should consider marrying with somebody right now. Wait, have I become a burden to you already? Yes! Listen. What? My friend Philip is a good guy, he's a cool guy. You know, he'll make you a great, a great wife, he's gonna be a great husband and a great father to your to your kid, whatever you want to do with him, I don't know. You should think, just start thinking right now how you get married, you know, get out of here, go be, just go meet him, get married. So is this what this is all about? You get on my nerves. How, like? You be singing, making noise, <sighs> bulging my ears, I'm not into that right now, I'm thinking about making money right now, that's what I'm making, I'm gonna make money. So, if you want to see right there, just bring your voice or you go to the room and do it. Enough is enough in this and what is going on? My brother is becoming something else. I need to pray about this. God cannot just let me be going through all this. Ah, ah. Oh God, show mercy. Lord, show mercy, show mercy. Ah, ah. Ah, Father, show mercy. Lord, show mercy. Whatever is happening to prosper. Lord, whatever is causing my brother to change so drastically. Ah, Father, show mercy in the name of Jesus. Intervene in this family, oh God. Intervene in hey. this family. Ah, God. What's wrong with you? Brother, sorry. I, I, I'm just praying for you, you know, like... Don't pray for me. Don't pray for me. Ah, what? Go and look for money or go get married to Philip. What? That's what I want. What have I done to you? What's go going and on? Go for money. Oh, you go get married to Philip. That is what I want, or else you get out of this house. Like, what's happening with this Philip? I'm telling don't you, love go, him. go and get married to Philip. I don't love him. You don't him. have to love him. He's a good guy. You don't have. You don't have to love him. Get married to him first, and you will love him. But like, listen, get married. Go, go and get married to Philip. He will take care of you. He will give you money. But he will he, give you everything you need. It's not even the will of God for me. Like God has not. It is. How for me. how do you know? How do you how, how do you know if it is the will of God or not? Calm down. How do you know? Why do you trust this how so do you much? know if it is the will of God or not? But how do you know if it is the will of God or not? You know what? I don't know what this shall be. How do you know? I'm telling you, either you go get a job or you go get married to Philip. Of course, I have a job already. Go get married. I have a job go already. get. I want you to get married. <sighs> yes, but not to Philip, of course. I have to find Philip is a guy for you. But he's not a God fearing man. Can how you do you see? know? How do you know? He goes to church. He pays tithe. He gives. If he, he was he gives God people's money. Married, he won't be influencing you like this. Alright? Has he influencing me? You have changed! How is he influencing you, me? This is not How you. is he influencing me? <sighs> Lord, this is what it I is, was talking it is my to life. about. Oh God, please. Lord, whatever demon has possessed, prosper. Lord, deliver him. This is not my brother. Please, please, please. God, please. Save my brother. Eh? Hey, 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 hey. What? What? If you don't want to get married to Philip, hey, pack your thing and leave. Why now? But this is our house. Right now! I don't I'm the head of this house. Listen, if you don't want to get married to Philip, get in there, pack your stuff and leave. But no, this is my father's right, come, house. Okay, make up your mind right now. Are you getting married to him or not? No. Right. I'm not getting married right. to him. This is my father's right, house. Leave me alone. Come on, come on, come on. Leave me. I'm not going. Come on. Hey, hey, hey. How are you supposed to Come on. Come on. Come on. You gotta get married to Philip. Come on. <laughs> Get out! Get out! I want to 
here. Leave Idiot, me get out. <laughs> get out. What nonsense? Go get married to Philip. He's a good guy. No. Talking about church. No. God. Lord. Where am I going to from here? <sighs> Yeah, no. She's coming to you right now, man. She's coming to you. Okay? Yeah. You know, the word of God says that when any man is tempted, let him not say that he is being tempted of God. For God cannot tempt any man with evil, but every man is tempted after the lost in their own hearts. And for you, dear child of God, who is going through the phase of affliction, persecution, and temptation, please do remember that the word of God says that for God will not allow you to be tempted above that which you are able, but he will with the temptation make a way of escape for you. So in these moments of trials and temptation, affliction and persecution, it's always great to remain focused on God, to have our gaze fixed steadfastly into heaven like Stephen even when he was being stoned to death. And always remember that it's a great privilege to always build a godly support system that can be there to nourish you in these moments of sorrow and pain and hurt when it feels like God is silent on you. Yes, that's so true. Look how God used Sister Rebecca to be a blessing to my soul in such moments of grief and torment. What about Sister Esther? Of course she was there for me as well so yeah God is always watching over every one of us and yeah our Heavenly Father is always watching over us I mean if he can take care of the sparrow and the beds of the air and the lilies of the valley how much more you his beloved child do you know that every hair on your head is numbered God will always give you a place of rest and peace through the affliction <laughs>
he wanted me to marry his friend Philip and Jesus. I said it's, it's not God's will for my life I don't even know the man and he was so angry before I knew it he threw me out of our father's house I'm so homeless right now I'm in the cold street I don't even know where I am please Esther eh can I can, can I can I come can you give me your address so that I can come stay with you and your family for a while before I figure myself out <sighs> Esther, please. Really sad. I'm this so hungry. Painful. I've never been eating. How could he do a thing like that? <laughs> oh my god. Sister Esther, please. I'm really sorry about everything. Yes, yes. But, you, you, you know, my, my uncle, I would have loved to welcome you to my house. But my uncle does not like believers. What? It's a persecutor of believers, yes. Not again, Lord. So, so Esther, you mean I can't come to you people's house? I really understand how you feel, but this, this, this is what you should know. God truly loves you, and he is aware of everything that is going on. I know that the pressure was very high, but I thank God for your faith to so have withstood and you did not succumb to whatever. I thank God for your faith in him. Despite the persecution, you could not succumb to what your brother wants. This is what the Bible says about you. Many are the afflictions of the righteous, but the Lord will surely deliver his own. So I just want you to keep trusting. Okay. Okay, thank you so much, Esther. Eh? Let me see. Let me see what God has done store for me at this point. I don't know what to do. Eh? I'll try to get back to you again. All right, my dear. All right. All I'll right. I'll pray for you. Amen. Amen. It is well. Amen. It is it well. It is well. Okay, sis. I'll talk with you some other time. Oh. Okay, my dear. All right. Bye bye. Take care of yourself. In touch. Okay, yes, I'll keep in touch. Bye bye. Alright. Bye, my dear. Do it. Oh, Lord. Esther. Esther's uncle won't let me come to their house. So, who else? Ah. Yes, Sister Rebecca. Let me try, Sister Rebecca. Let me see if the Lord can use her to help me. Ah. Thank you, Jesus. Sister Rebecca, please pick up your phone. Ah, ah. Hey, Sister Rebecca, thank God you picked up. My sister. Ah. Oh God, you won't believe it. I've been thrown out of the house by my brother Prosper. Ah, it's not been easy at all. My family is going through rough times. Huh? Rebecca, please. I just called Sister Esther. She's not able to help me at the moment. Ah. Ah. Ah, my brother has been forcing me to marry one of his rich friends. But he's not even born again. And the Spirit of God is not agreeing with me to settle down with him, you know. And my brother has become so arrogant. He's not himself any longer. So he even threw me out of the house because of this misunderstanding. Please, eh? Sister Rebecca, can you help me? I am I am in the cold, please. Lord have mercy. Amen. I'm in Minnesota. Minnesota, my sister. Minnesota, Minnesota. Yeah. Yeah. I, I have this, my, my uncle, who, who has a number of houses over there. Oh, really? You, you know what? Just, yes, yes. You should just give me a minute to get to him. Alright, alright. Just hold on. Let me just call him. I'll get back to you. Thank you so much. Thank you, Rebecca. Okay, please, I'm waiting for your call, eh? Okay, okay. okay. Yeah, thank sure. you, just thank you. Okay. Yes, my sister. Alright, alright. Ah, thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, please. Let Rebecca's uncle accept me to stay in one of his houses, Lord, please. Father, please make a way. Please touch their heart, Lord. Please touch their heart. Ah, Father, please. <sighs> Thank God, thank God. Hello? Ooh. Hello, my dear. Are you still there? Yes, Sister Rebecca, I'm here. Uh, okay. Okay, I just got to my to my to my uncle now and uh -huh. he has given me the directives on where you can get 
the key, ah, okay? Thank you, Jesus. Ah, yes. thank you, Lord. Look at your phone. I'm going to okay. Right okay. the location. Okay. You can have the team. Okay. Okay. Yes, yes, thank you so much. Ah, Sister Rebecca, what will I do without you? So May heaven reward this you for me. Sister, I'm sorry. You're hurting the cold. I'm so sorry. The Lord is your strength. Okay. Amen. Amen. Don't give up, my dear. Amen. This phase of your life is going to pass and you will see the glory of the Lord. Amen. In your life. Amen. Be Amen. Sure, sure. Amen. Thank you we so much. All right. Okay. Okay. okay, okay. I just saw the address now. Okay. Okay, and where to get the keys. Thank you so much for texting me that information. I'll just I'll just find my way there. Okay. All right, All right. sis. All I'll right. notify you when I'm Thank home. You. Okay. Thank you so much. Bye-bye. <laughs> oh, thank you Jesus thank you Jesus thank you Lord you have done it again and again and again Lord thank you <sighs> thank you Jesus <sighs> beautiful house what a wonderful environment oh, thank you Jesus in my family and let the peace of God prevail. Do you know I even lost my dad? Did I tell you that? <sighs> yeah, I lost my dad and then Prosper was the only person that I had but before I knew it, he stayed behaving weirdly and so he pushed me out of the house eventually. 
Oh, man. I feel much better now. Thank you so much. Thank you so much. Okay. Let me try to look for something to eat, bye -bye. okay? Alright, bye bye. <sighs> Thank you, Lord. <sighs> Let me just go get something to eat. <sighs> so tired. This is good. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you. bless people with riches like this. Wow. 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 Ha! Ah, who says wonders shall ever end? Hmm. Ha! Ah, it's beautiful though. Well, I'll just enjoy now. Ah uh ah. -uh, I'll enjoy. It is God who has blessed me. I'll enjoy. Hmm.
It's going pretty good, man. I got a new house, uh -huh. and I got some, you know, several cars right now. Interesting. Man, I'm living in luxury. Interesting. Man, I'm putting more work in man, the car. Man, that's, that's the spirit. That's the spirit, bro. That's the spirit. That's the Thanks, spirit, man. I appreciate it. Man. Keep, I it, appreciate up. Keep it, it up. So, what about your sister? Ah. How is she doing? Uh, you haven't been telling me anything about her. What's going on? So, actually, it's not that I haven't been talking to her, man. Yeah. She's a hard not to car, bro. She said she doesn't like you. Um, what? Are you bro, serious? Yeah, I try. I try to convince her. I, man, I talk to her. Man, I put. I put her down. No, no. no, no listen, listen, bro, listen, bro, listen, listen. Listen. I don't have an listen, agreement. Listen, 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 I'm trying, bro. Give me more time. No, I'm trying. No, listen. The initial agreement was you give me your sister and I make you rich. Okay, see. Okay, now. No, okay, now. No, listen, no, 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 bro. bro I kick listen, her out of the house. Listen. I kick her out of the house and because she declined the offer. I don't, I don't, I don't mess up with my deals. I kick her I out of the house, up, bro. I don't mess up with my deals. I don't mess up with my deals, bro. Now you're going against the whole rules. Man, if you don't want to do this, I'm going to cut you off the business. Bro, I want, listen, I'm going to I cut want you off the business. business. She's for, not talking to you. I spoke to you. I spoke Now you got, now you got, you, I spoke, I spoke now you got a house. Said, she you doesn't house, like you. You got a house. You got a car. I kick her out. I kick her out. She's not with me. She's not with me. She's not with me. No, she's, do she's not with me no, no more, bro. bro. I don't mess up with my deals, man. I don't mess up with my deals. Totally, I'm going to cut you off the business. Either your sister or nothing. I don't want to hear nothing. Listen, let me tell you. Remember when you lost your dad? You had nothing, and I picked you up and I cleaned you up. Boy, you're not God, man. You are not God. Bro. When, when you, were, you are not God, bro. When, when I met you, you were serving you your mother. You are not God, bro. Nothing. You had nothing. I and have nothing. I appreciate the fact that you put me in this yeah. business. Yeah. Let me, let me tell, let me tell, let me tell you. I walk myself through it, now I'm successful, bro. Listen, bro. You walk yourself through it. Is that what you're gonna tell me right now? I walk myself walk through, yourself it. through it. You give me the business. Bro. Bro, I, your listen, I put, I'm cutting I, you off the business. Man. Either I'm cutting you off the business or I want you to stop. Bro, listen, or, man, listen, I mean, listen, you listen, have, you listen. You have to maintain the deals, okay? You have to maintain the deals, so I have nothing to argue with you, okay? She doesn't like you no more, bro. Bro, the initial agreement was you gotta to talk to your sister so I can get married to her. But if you don't want it, I'm gonna cut you off the business. That's it. That's my final saying, bro. I don't have anything to argue with you. No, you, no, no, no you let, me tell, let me tell, let me tell, let me tell. No, you, no, you, no, no, you can't You can't mess with me like that. Bro, you can't mess with me like that. You're just in you in this. You business. can't mess with me like that. Rules. You can't do nothing, okay? Oh, now you're talking back on me, right? You know, you're talking back on me because you made some little change, bro. You're talking back on me. The next time I'm gonna meet you, it's not gonna be funny, okay? The next time I'm gonna meet you, it's not gonna be funny. I'll see you next time, bro. I'll see you. Look at me, this man, man. God used you to bless me. Now I'm progressing. I wanna strip me off. Never, man. It's never gonna happen. I'm gonna fight! I'm gonna fight! And I'm gonna fight, man! I'm gonna fight!
William Stanley Four. Hmm. Ah uh ah. -uh. A network fighting against domestic violence, gender-based violence, and all sorts of violence. Hmm. Ah uh ah. -uh. But God, come to think of it, is it proper for me to now? Start following up with such networks, non-governmental organizations. As a believer, am I not just supposed to handle this spiritually, pray about it? If fasting is needful, fast about it, that my brother should be delivered from whatever spirits are holding him bound. And also, it's a way of keeping the shame within the family instead of exposing people. But come to think of it, is it even really proper that when we are going through domestic violence, gender-based violence, or any kind of violence, we keep it to ourselves? Yes, even as believers, we can pray about it, but also we can involve the necessary authorities, like this network, this non-governmental organization, so that they can handle such situations properly to prevent it from skyrocketing or affecting others. And also some of these corporates will learn so that they will not perpetrate such acts in homes or shady places. Ah oh God, should I just pray about this? Or oh, I should pray about it and also be a part of Mr. William Taniforce Network Against Domestic Violence and Gender-Based Violence. Hmm. Well, Let's see how it goes. <sighs> so, I need to pick up some groceries today. Mm -hmm. okay. Where did I keep the list that I made last night? Yes, I want all the parts. There were 15 people we took out of the club yesterday. So I'm expecting 15 hearts, 15 livers, and 15 kidneys. And make sure you keep everything clean and clear. Nobody should be behind you, tracking you. I don't want you to make the mistake you made last time, okay? Make sure no police is involved in this, okay? Yes, I want them immediately because I need to ship them out, okay? Yes, I'm waiting for them. Hey, Prosper. Hey, what's Is that up? You? Is what's that up? You? What's up? You're asking me what's up, bro? You whipped me, man. You're asking me you what's up? You whipped me, what's up? I yeah, mean, you haven't started. I told you I was going to get back at you. Bro, I, I lost told you I was going to get bro, back listen, at you. Bro, listen, you know I lost my dad. I lost my sister. Sure. I lost the business, I lost the deal, the transaction, everything. Sure. Is that what you do? Bro, what did you I do to you, me? Bro, what, did you do to me? what did you I do to me? What did you do to me? I lost everything. I want to make you crawl on your knees. What? You're just a little boy. You just made some little change and you want to start fighting with me. Oh, really? Why did you block my account? For real? Oh, the joint account. Why did you close them? Well, I told you, we rule this game. We play this game. We've been in this 
escape for long. You just made some little change and you want to start fighting I don't have anything. Me. You've blocked the account. You want to start. You, you, you've stopped the deal. Everything. Mind, I'm going to rip you off. From what? Everything. I'm going to rip you off. From now, man. Everything. Okay? Man, get out. Yeah. I told, you to, I told you to give me your sister so I can get married to your sister and now you try to replace my the sister, with me. My sister never I, loved you. I'm going to, I told you, I, I she, don't care about she that. She wasn't thing. interested in you. I don't you. care about that. She wasn't interested in you. What am I supposed to do? What am I supposed to do? You were supposed to make, what make am I supposed sure you to keep do? to the deals. You were supposed to make sure you keep to the deals. You've whipped me. You've crippled me. Man, that's not still the end, okay? That's not still what the end. What do you mean that's the end? I've gonna, lost everything. I'm going to make you go on your knees and beg. Nah, okay? man, nah, that's a lie, man. That's a lie, man. I'm going to make you. I can never get out. I can never beg you. Okay, let me call the TPO. Hello, TPO. Yes. I want you to take care of this of this guy, Prosper. All right, all right, Mr. Williams. All right, ha. Thank you so much. It's such a privilege to be part of this network. Thank you, sir. I really appreciate. All right. I'll be at the office first thing tomorrow morning to complete the paperworks. Perfect. Thank you so much, sir. Have a great day. Thank you. <sighs> ah, thank God for people like Mr. Williams who will read such stories and stand up for those who are going through one form of violence or the other gender based violence, domestic violence, you know? <sighs> In as much as I'm a Christian, Prosper is a Christian, yeah, but what he did was improper. That's domestic violence. What about the young girls that are being violated every day? The young boys in these homes. I no one knows about it. I think I'm ready for this vision, you know. This network must go out there to the ends of the earth and make sure that the culprits are brought to book properly and the victims receive their freedom and justice. But in as much as I'm a part of this network now with Mr. Williams, to fight against gender-based violence, domestic violence, and violence of all sorts, I still need to intercede for my family. The Bible stands. I still need to intercede. Oh, let me update my friend, Sister Esther. I'm sure she'll be so worried, thinking that I'm still sleeping on the streets, not knowing that God has brought angels in human form to help me. Hello, Sister Esther. <laughs> oh, hey. My sister, how are you doing? My God's grace. I'm doing great. Mm, that's awesome. That's amazing. Yeah, so I was just calling you to update you so that you don't see it being worried that I'm still roaming about the streets. <sighs> I was willing to call you today, though. Oh, really? Ah, thank you so much, my sister. That same day, sure. yeah, I called um sister Rebecca, and she called one of our uncles, and the uncle has so many houses here in Minnesota, so they just gave me the address oh to one of their houses God. to stay there. I'm telling you, this God, he works in mysterious ways. This is a miracle. I'm so, so happy. You know, from when we last spoke. I have been praying to God mm. on your behalf. Mm. Amen. This is actually a miracle. And the Lord assured me mm -hmm. in His Word, Isaiah 41. Yeah. The Bible says that they may see and know and consider mm. and understand together mm. that the hand of the Lord has done this. Amen. I really appreciate this God. He's a miracle working God. Whenever we are fired, He hires us. Whenever we are thrown away, He picks us up. He does things in mysterious ways that human mind cannot comprehend. Hallelujah. Ah. 
all right i just want to have a moment to study god's word and intercede for my brother prosper and, and the family you know it is well all right mm -hmm. Israel, remember mm -hmm. the Bible says, Thou one Jacob, mm -hmm. and ye Israel, mm -hmm. I will help thee, Amen. 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 Oh. Amen. 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 Okay, bye bye. Take care of yourself, sis. I love you. I love you too, and you're always welcome. We keep in touch and we keep praying for each other. Oh, thank you so much. Bye bye. Bye. <sighs> eternal rock of ages. You reign on the earth realm where your word says that once have you spoken and twice have we heard that power belongs to God. Lord, I just worship you. Father, I bless you for this breakthrough. I thank you for this open door. I worship you for your faithfulness. I thank you, Lord, for being my father, for being my helper, for being my redeemer, for being my restorer. Thank you. You are the father to the orphans, the husband to the widows. You are the God who raises up the poor from the downhill to sit on thrones with kings I worship you I thank you Lord you have never changed you remain the same yesterday today and forever your words say that faithful are you who have called us who also will do it I thank you Jesus because you are doing a new thing in the life of my brother prosper you are saving him from sin you are saving him from every ungodly ties Lord deliver him from every powers of darkness every chains the enemy is holding him bound with I pray for all the believers all around the world those who are going through one form of trial temptation or the other oh god visit them lord deliver them lord help them deliver them from the tentacles and the claws of the enemy father let your light shine through their situation lord let your hand liberate them this moment in the name of jesus intervene lord release your host of angels to help your sons and your daughters and for all those who are going through one form of persecution or the other father i pray that you show them your mercy Lord, you come through mightily for them as you've come through mightily for me in the name of Jesus.
kill me and then take out my lung, liver and kidneys ah this doesn't add up now there were so many lungs livers and kidneys in his hands ah, what was he doing with them what is going on no 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 no, Lord, no, no, no. Ah, I need to connect to a greater power. I need, I need to connect to a greater power. My family needs help. My brother, Prosper, Prosper needs help. Ah, ah, Prosper needs help. Oh my God, oh my God. What am I going to do right now? Ah, no, 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 I need help. Ah. No, no way. Mm -mm, mm -mm. The Lord cannot permit this. The Lord cannot permit this. Ah. Oh, oh no. Ah, Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Ah, you need to help. You need to intervene. Ah, Lord, Lord, have mercy. Ah, have mercy, Lord. Have mercy, Lord. Have mercy on my brother, prosper, Lord. Hey, have mercy. Have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Lord, take control. Lord, intervene. Lord, have mercy. Ah, ah, oh, God, have mercy. Have mercy. Ah, oh, have mercy, Lord. Have mercy. Have mercy, Lord. Ah, Lord, have mercy. Have mercy, oh, God. Have mercy. Have mercy. Have mercy, Jesus. Have mercy. Ah, ah, have mercy, Lord. Have mercy, Lord. Ah, have mercy. Have mercy. Oh God, have mercy. Jesus, Jesus, Jesus. Ah, have mercy. I lost everything. My sister. My dad, my career, my friends, I lost everything. <sighs> What's the purpose of life right now? <sighs> Abigail. Abigail, I'm sorry. <sighs> I don't know if she's gonna become my phone. I don't know. Everything is, everything, like, everything is. I don't know. Is she gonna pick up? Is she gonna, I don't know. I'm just gonna try to quite bigger. <sighs> Have mercy on the Lord. 
So I've done evil, I've done bad things. I threw my sister out. That's the worst mistake of my life. Help me get out of this hole. Help me. Help me. Help me. Ah. 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 There's my phone. Let me try to reach out to a big girl. Oh, thank you, Jesus. Thank you. Oh, the message to the Lord was really amazing. Uh -uh. Oh, wow. Mm -mm. So I left message and went without even switching on the TV. What's going on with Where's that little bit? Oh, my phone. My phone is ringing. Who is this? Ha ah, ah, Sister Rebecca. Hello, Hello Sister Rebecca. Ha ah, ah. Sister Abigail, how are you, my dear? I'm doing well by God's grace. Thank you. What's happening, my sister? Aww. What's going on? I'm just coming back from nah, the fellowship. Okay. Uh -huh. Okay, that is fine. I hope you're enjoying yourself. Oh, my dear. yes. Our fellowship location here in Minnesota is amazing. And tonight, the pastor's message Aww. was really edifying. Thank God. Oh, that's wonderful, wonderful. Mm -hmm. um, yeah. I hope you've been praying very well. Yes, sis. I've been praying. I'm praying for my brother okay. Prosper. Also praying for my spiritual strength. It's actually now that I lost my dad, who was like my best friend, you know. And yeah, gradually the Lord is helping. Actually, my brother Prosper, I want the Lord to intervene and deliver him from any shady affairs, you know. Anything that is taking him away from the kingdom, yes. <sighs> Yes, you're right. That is good. And this is Abigail. Yes. I had this, I had this um, revelation some days back. This strange revelation. I don't My know. God. In it, I I saw you. I saw you moving with this um, tall, hefty guy like that. Is I, he I dark know. in complexion? Yes, he's he's huge. Oh he's my God. God! Yes, that should be my brother, Prosper. I hope everything went well in the revelation, Sister Rebecca. My dear, my dear, well, in the revelation, I noticed mm. that he was, uh, he, he, he was moving with some guys, actually, yes. guys, uh -huh. and then they just left from a, a certain club, and, and from that club, they had taken about 15 people, my dear, what? and you know what? Mm. They were going to use these people's vital organs, and then I'm talking about the heart, the kidneys, the lungs, they were going to use for. In fact, my dear, this trip makes me feel like, perhaps your brother is in trouble. Cultism? Ritual, ritual. Rituals? Cultism, yeah. People's hearts, kidneys, and lungs. Ah, Jesus. <laughs> mercy, Lord, yes. mercy. Ha, ah, ha. Ah. This what is, is going on? The Lord has to show us mercy. The Lord has to deliver my brother Prosper. Ha ha. Heart. Kidneys. Um, I don't know. This weekend, are you free? Are you free? I, I think we can start the prayers this weekend. Sister right Rebecca, today. when it comes to prayer and fasting, I'm free. I'm all yours, eh? We cannot allow my brother go to yes. hell. The enemy cannot cheat him from his destiny. Ah, I'm ready. I'm available. Yes, yes. Okay, so my dear, this weekend we should not forget, we should just engage in warfare prayer. The Lord Amen. is going to do something Amen. in the life of your brother. Amen. 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 Ah, thank you so much, okay, Sister Rebecca. Eh? This weekend, yes. I will join you in this fasting and prayer. In fact, from tonight, no food for me. I have to start interceding for my brother intensely. Of he can't course. be part of, of rituals and cultism. Ha, ah, mm mm. Mm -mm. Mm -mm. Mm -mm. Mm -mm. Ah, God is going to take over this situation. Amen. 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 Just be strong. Amen. 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 Amen.
He whom the Lord has made free is free indeed. My brother is free. Ha! We cannot allow the enemy to cheat him. Oh, thank you so much. Eh? Thank you, my sister. What will I do without you? You're my blessing. God bless you for me immensely. Eh? Ah. All right. I can't wait for the day that I will see you. Please make and come to my state in Minnesota. Eh? Oh, in fact, for a show of gratitude, I should be the one getting a vacation to come over and be with you. Eh? And thank your uncle for me over and over again for, for letting me be here in this beautiful home. All right. All right. All right. Thank you. Thank you so much, Mr. Rebecca, for letting God use you to bless me with a home. May the Lord bless you with a husband that will give you a home after his own heart, a glorious home, a beautiful home, a bigger home than this one in Jesus' name. Ah. All right. All right. All right, my sister. I'll talk to you soon, okay? See you by weekend for the fast and prayers. Bye bye. <sighs> My God, huh? Rituals prosper. Rituals, ah, Lord, mercy, mercy on your soul. <sighs> Jesus, Goodness. Let me try to reach out to her bigger. I don't know if she's gonna pick up or not. I've just asked for forgiveness. I just have to just try. Let me just call her. Whatever be the case, let me just call her. Come on, a bigger. Please come on. Please. Pick up this phone, my bigger, please. Come on, my bigger, please answer the phone. Hello. Hello. Hi, bigger, how are you doing? <laughs> are you I, are you mistaken? Remember, you threw me out. So why are you calling me? I'm sorry. I want sorry you back. Sorry about what? I want you back. What does that even mean? Uh, I've lost everything, I'll be here. So is that why you want me back now? Because you lost everything? I don't want to lose you. You're my sister, remember? You're, ready. You're my blood. Why are you pushing me out? Didn't you remember? I'll be here, please. Uh, like, I'm the verge of even losing my own life. I need you, please. What? <sighs> lose your life? No, no, no. Okay, okay, fine, fine. Don't lose your life. I've been praying for you, though, so... I mean, don't worry, I'll be there in a few minutes. Where should I meet you? I'm at home. Which home? Family house. Mm, alright, alright, alright. I'll be there. Oh my god, oh my god, what's happening here? What's happening here? I'll be here. What? I'll be here. I'm sorry. What's going on? Why are you like this? What happened? What, what, what happened? Um, it's a long story. Alright, so why are you this broken? I, I have never known you to be like this, especially the last time when you were pushing me out. I lost everything I here. So is that why you need me back? Since our dad died, you know, just you, you know, and I want you back. Come back to the family. I'm sorry, Abigail. I mean, I made a mistake. You know, we all make mistakes and we all learn from our mistakes. I know what I've done. I know you don't want to forgive me because it's really bad. But please, you know, I raised my voice at you. I pushed you. I dragged you. Oh my God. I'm so sorry, Abigail. I'm, I, I'm, I'm confused right now. Please, I want you to come back. It's okay. I miss you. I miss you too, Abigail. I just wish that and mom were here with us. Yeah, why are we all? forgive you you always be my brother and I understand that something was just not going right that's why I needed to pray for you more and more and I just pray that now that we've all recognized where we've fallen short 
we just continue to work with God like our dad always advised us to. The storms of life will come, but God wants us to put our trust and our focus on Him, not on the distractions that the enemy brings our way. All these get-rich-quick schemes and all this... <sighs> thank Jesus. We just thank Him for intervening in this storm. It is well, brother. Thank you. Have you had something to eat? Mm-mm. All right, perfect. I'll just go to the kitchen and make something for us to eat, all right? All right, thank you. So all right, you want to come with me? So, where have you been all this while? Ah, the Lord provided. The Lord provided me a place to stay through one of my sisters in the Lord. And I just give glory to God. It's been comfortable there, but... I'm going to move in back to our father's house. For real? <sighs> yeah, till my own husband takes me out of my father's house. Or, who knows? God provides my own place with my own money and the hard work of my hands. I'm here with you. Thank and you most definitely, me. God will bless you in his own time Amen. with abundance. The scripture says that Jesus came that we should have life and have it more abundantly. Amen. But the enemy came to steal, to kill, and to destroy. I just thank God for intervening and saving us from this destruction that the enemy was bringing our way. Amen. Ah, I know that God will surely show us mercy. Alright, let's go and get something to eat. Please. Of course. No, I have you. I'm gonna get married. Victory belongs to Jesus. Victory belongs to Him. Oh, oh, oh. Yes, yes. So I love how Jesus has given every believer ultimate victory. So one thing I've learned from my story is that we as believers, we do not fight for victory. We fight from a place of victory. I love how the Lord has reconciled my brother and I again. And <laughs> it's weird to know that my brother thought I had no idea of the things that were going on in his life, even when he had pushed me so far away from him. But God always reveals these things to his children, you know. Um, yes, he may have joined this occultic friend and they are selling human organs to make more money but God would reveal this to me to sister Rebecca so that we can join our faith together fast and pray about it I equally love how I was able to speak up against domestic violence and just join this organization and platform that we can open up such a conversation and you know just help the authorities that be to bring more other in society and yes I equally really 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 loved how God is indeed the God who giveth his beloved sleep you know when my brother threw me out God 
took me in when my brother thought he was sending me out to a hopeless future god was embracing me in to give me peace comfort that i can be able to enjoy the wonderful things of life because indeed it is god who give it power to make wealth it is god who is able to give us shelter comfort us and bless our hearts with every desire and oh just a quick update brother should i tell them Oh yeah all right so you know he repented right of course the Lord restored him in his mercies so just yesterday he received a phone call that his business has been approved to be set up he is setting up his own company and so it will only be fair that I give you the complete gist right <laughs> yesterday I got engaged no ring on my finger but yes where did this culture come from that there must be a ring believe me or not i got engaged so i'm getting married you're invited for the wedding all right <laughs> So this is just to tell you, dear child of God, who is going through the phase of affliction that ah, all things will work together for your good as long as you love the Lord and you are the called according to his purpose. Yeah. 